it's kind of like, well, no, it's not like hockey. I think you, you can't like push people on purpose. No high sticking. No high sticking. Oh, crap, they're staring at the house. I've only played this once before, so. Hi, I'm Brad Baldwin. Before the season began, I had never played broom ball at St. Olaf, um, and I really did not know anyone on the team that I played with other than my roommate and the captain. So this was a, uh, a new experience for me, and I just wanted to see how well I'd do um, going into a new team and playing broom ball for the first time at St. Olaf. <laughs> Tighten that and snap it in. Hey, Laurel. Can you play? Awesome. Just find a white mask somewhere. Oh, I'll play that. This ice looks really uh, slippery. Oh God. I'm probably gonna fall and get injured. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I feel like it's tighter. I don't think it will. Okay. It's got a long way to go. I'm gonna work, Nikki. Yeah. Our first match was against a team called Cool Runnings and it presented us with many challenges. We were not used to running on the ice yet and you can clearly see how difficult it was that night. Hard fought battle, but in the end, something with Penguins lost 2 to 0. This defeat would make them more determined and motivated as they went into their next match. I sat down with Bjorn, the captain of the team, to discuss the history of the team and how the season was going. We have an illustrious history of participation in the St. Olaf uh, Broomball non competitive league. Actually, I, I believe we've been participating since the beginning of the non-competitive league. I think it was switched out our freshman year from just one league. So our team has been named something different every year, but that doesn't mean that the spirit of the team has changed. We've certainly kept up our, uh, our drive and our spirit and, uh, and uh, our, our team character even the name has changed over the past couple years, but we've been participating in it since our freshman year. Yeah. And you're a senior, right? That's right. Yeah. So, Captain, captain of the team. Have you been captain all four years? or? Yeah, we organized it our first year, kind of as a group, and then I've been on campus every year for interim, unlike most of the people on the team, so, so I figured I would just organize it. For the second game, the other team did not show and we won the forfeit. So we just decided to take the ice and have some practice and I think it really helped our team. Bjorn agreed. The whole time? We definitely improved uh, right up to the forfeit uh, and then when the, when the team forfeited uh, we improved a lot because we were able to not play anyone uh, and so in playing ourselves we actually scored all the points which is something that we've rarely done, in fact, uh, maybe never done in the history of our team. Would you say this team has helped make uh, friends for life with some of the other team members? I think that, uh, that our broomball team will um, continue to, to uh, flourish after St. Olaf. It's mostly consisting of seniors, of course, but uh, as we all go our separate ways, I'm sure we'll remember all our hours together on the ice. You remember the third game against uh, Kildall Expatriates, where they uh, they scored like right after a faceoff? Do you remember that? Or were you there? I actually wasn't there for okay. that game. <laughs> um, 
it's it's nice though to be able to trust your teammates uh, to come up with a victory, even the absence of your of your own presence there. Of course, I think that uh, sometimes it's because I'm not there that we that we do as well as we do. I asked Bjorn about the final regular season game. Well, I really feel that the the final game of our fourth regular season in the non-competitive broomball league was was kind of the uh, the epitome of our participation in St. Olaf Broomball. I really feel that that last game just showed us how much how much we can improve during our four years at St. Olaf. What uh, St. Olaf as a college can can do for us, even even in the, the sport world of broomball. And I think it just showed us how, how far we could come. You know, we believed in ourselves. And that was just such an affirmation to win um, our last game. Bjorn's opinions on the playoffs. And uh, I think we'll at least play one uh, game in the playoffs. Do you think we'll win it? I have no idea. But I think it's overwhelmingly likely that we'll crush the competition. Okay. Seeing that our record was 3-1 and one after the regular season, Jordan and I both agreed that we have a good chance of making it far into the playoffs. Let's hope the ice stays fresh until then. Throughout the season I witnessed how strong the bond of a broomball team can be, and I was just lucky enough to be part of one of those teams. Until then, we'll just see what happens in the playoffs next semester.